Hello, my name's Shug. <laughs> Some people call me Shug, Shug, Shuggity Shug. You're watching Midwestern Backpacker. Is that right? And we're out here in a frozen lake, acting like idiots. Watch his channel, it's really good, a lot better than mine. All right, see ya. Woo, buddy! friends I am in central Wisconsin specifically I am on the Ice Age Trail and I am here for the Wisconsin frozen butt hang it's another beautiful day it's balmy out here it's probably five degrees Sun is out it's beautiful hiking probably a mile and a half into camp and uh, gonna set up a hammock and meet some new friends. You'll see some friends that you may recognize. It's gonna be a good time. Come on along, let's go. got my hammock all set up last trip I didn't show you my actual sleep system so I'm going to show it to you this time last weekend if you didn't see it uh, I was up at Eagle Mountain and we camped and it was negative 15 degrees if you're interested in that video I'll put a link up in the cards so I have my war bonnet ridge runner bridge hammock as usual and uh, for winter I layer my quilts so my top quilts, uh, inside I have a 20 degree uh, UGQ quilt. And on the outside of that, I have a zero degree burrow uh, from Hammock Gear. Now my under quilt, this here is an under quilt protector. And what that does is it uh, shields you from the wind, any moisture, uh, and I like it because it just keeps some of your heat in uh, instead of escaping with the wind. So underneath that, I have two quilts here. So you can see uh, closest to me, the orange one here is a negative 20 degree from Local Libre. And layered underneath that, the red one is a 20 degree from Local Libre. So a negative 20 and a 20. I'm a bit of a cold sleeper, so it's a little bit of overkill, but uh, you know, if I got room, I might as well bring it and stay nice and warm. Now inside, uh, I should point out to you that I have uh, some down socks that I wear to help keep my feet uh, extra warm. And <clears throat> this is something new right here. This is can't see it very good here it's black against the blue but it's a wool blanket that I made into what I'm calling a head box 
what it is is I can pull this blanket up over my face when I sleep and it keeps my face warm. I have a problem where if I wear a face mask, I pull it off while I'm sleeping and then my face gets cold and I wake up. So this is a loose wool blanket that, uh, let me see if I can show you here. It's almost like a, it's almost like a big pillowcase where underneath, you can see there's a little piece here that goes under my head and my pillow. And uh, that keeps the blanket in place, the head box in place. So I put that underneath my pillow here that is a hybrid where it's a down on one side and inflatable on the other. So this is the first time that I'm trying the head box uh, on this trip. I had a down one last week and it got all wet and there's a lot of condensation in there. But um, hopefully with the wool, it'll uh, prevent that from happening. And some of you may ask, it's gonna be zero degrees. Why do you have your bug net up? There aren't any bugs, right? Well, when you got all of this stuff in your hammock, two top quilts, a head box, a pillow, all sorts of crap, it falls out. So if you zip this on, uh, it helps keep things in. I realize some of that moisture coming off of your breath and the condensation uh, makes uh, it a little bit worse because frost builds up on this net, but uh, it's better than all of your stuff falling out when you're laying in your hammock. Got my hammock all set up. I was up there socializing with people, having fun. But I also need to get out here on a lake, undisturbed snow, spend a little time to myself, in quiet, just enjoying nature and being alone. I'm on Game Lake right now, and it's beautiful. to me what you're doing there. Uh, well, we were gonna cut a hole for uh, for water. So we're out, I don't know, like 20, 30 yards. And there's an actual- I'm gonna have nightmares uh, actual tonight. Actual tether lanyard on this thing. Cause I've seen those things where they're chopping through the ice and it just slips through the gloves. It goes, you know. yeah. Is there so, a technique to it or just uh, um Yes, I, I kind of go in a little bit of a circle. I'll yeah, walk the, around and, but yeah. Can, so we need a big enough hole to get. Get the water pots, yep. So. so also if you rotate it around so the bevel's on the opposite side. This way? Uh, yep, there you go. They told me sugar was a big ice hole. <laughs> oh, maybe that was a nice. The biggest. <laughs> Yeah, man. Look at that brown water. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Never 
never comes. <laughs> So we just had a medical emergency here. Uh, one of the guys here, we think may have had a heart attack, but uh, luckily we have people here, Nick and Dawn and some people that have outdoor uh, f uh, f training for that sort of thing. And we actually had an emergency room doctor here who uh, helped and we got uh, Jeff loaded up on a pulp, pulled him out to where the ambulance could take him to the hospital. He's alert and doing fine. And Jeff, uh, if you're watching YouTube, I hope that you're doing well and uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, but we're praying for you, dude. Scraping off the pan for making pancakes and bacon for everybody. Oh yes. Did yeah, you eat some yourself? Uh, we all had some. It was great. So the question is, are you gonna be around tomorrow morning? I am gonna to be here breakfast? tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'll make a breakfast, but I will be here two nights in a row. What, what, what's your new trail name? Gianni. Gianni. <laughs> Better known as One Night Stand. <laughs> I like that name. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Why I didn't become a surgeon. <laughs> What exactly are you doing here? Uh, just gonna dump some of the apple cider in the. In so the that's pot. frozen apple cider. Yeah. In the milk jug? Yes, it is. Better, uh, urine sample <laughs> <laughs> from a very sick individual. Not cold for the leg. Not cold for the leg, no. Or head. Oh yeah, I think I only leave this for his videos, get the thing. I'd take a hit. Oh yeah, that's my boy Milos right there. Milo, that's Milo. Milos. Hi. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Dirty Curti, and I know if you are no trips. I'm his better half. Oh, you are, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Smarter I saw you in the uh, half. in his video before I came to this. Almost. How are we doing? We made it. Nice hat. He's best done with, with a partner. of backpacking and hammocking videos. The one, the only... What was your name again? Uh, Steve. Oh, Shug. Yeah, oh, yeah. my name's Shug, hello. Shug, Shug, Shug. Out here with the 
What do you go by? Is it a, Midwest backpack? I know, but there's what do they call you out here? Alone? Almost. Oh, I I would say it's more aloof. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> yeah. Let's be hey, aloof with each other. It's great to finally meet you. Well, it is fun, and it's like it's always funny to. Well, it's cool to meet somebody else that does videos because you know what is involved with it and how many times they have to walk back to get the camera or looking at Miyagi right there messing with his drone out in the cold making faces while shooting <laughs> and trying to have fun and these are the things you go through <laughs> when you do videos Video. so we, we hope that you enjoy it yeah so again go watch Midwest Backpacker and Miyagi they are and, watching Midwest Backpacker oh yeah so <laughs> I'm not asking you to go watch my channel because you'll find it eventually and think what you will all right, man. Yeah. Thank you. Bam. One of the great things about the Wisconsin frozen butt hang is the amount of food people bring. Tons of food and share. You see a bunch of people behind me making different meals around the campfire. I brought a bunch of brats and some ring bologna and uh, cut that up and shared it with people. But it's just a great community and socializing thing so uh, if you come here don't worry about bringing like freeze-dried meals because we eat real food what you making there it's cheesy grits with that goes with the shrimp Good morning. Day three here. Slept warm last night. The worst part about winter camping is packing up when you're leaving because your fingers are cold and you have to take off your gloves and do little things. So you learn some little tricks like uh, hand warmers. Uh, warm, uh, do a hand warmer in each pocket. Work on your hammock and tearing down for five minutes stick your hands in your pockets for a few minutes warm up Woo! it was fun met lots of new friends met uh, Shug the OG so it was a good trip now that being said I'm kind of happy to be going home in that warm house uh, hot shower see my dogs but hey thanks for coming along if you like the video go ahead hit subscribe hit the bell notification check me out on instagram check me out on facebook check out the merch in teespring and in honor of suge Woo!